Welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP. Today I'm going to show you how I make my lamb and herb pie with a parsnip mash. It's a little bit like a shepherd's pie, but we've put a couple of twists on this. Let's get on with it. Very simple. We've got a fry pan, a bit of heat happening. We've put in a, uh, a little bit of butter because we're going to fry everything off in the butter and give it a nice flavor. I've got two carrots. I've finally, finally diced. They can go straight in and start this cooking process off nice and easy, just like this. Get that uh, coated in the butter. I've got one brown onion that I finely diced as well. That goes straight in. And all we're simply going to do is let those sweat off, get a bit of color on the onion if possible. And uh, I'm gonna cook those off for about five minutes or so. Okay, as you can see, there's a bit of steam coming out of those. That means something's happening. I'm gonna add 500 grams of beef, or sorry, lamb mince, ground lamb. I'm just going to put that in, remove the paper, it doesn't taste that good at all. Break that mince up just using your wooden spoon like I'm doing right there. Very, very simple this dish. It doesn't take very long at all. Just keep moving that uh, mixture around like that. I'm also going to add in around about a teaspoon worth of freshly ground black pepper or as much as you prefer. I'm just going to give that a, a nice bit of uh, fresh grind pepper straight in, in goes our herbs, and our herbs are fresh rosemary, thyme, and tarragon. All, right, all fresh herbs, they can go straight in. I was lucky enough to be able to find some nice fresh herbs. A good teaspoon of garlic paste, that can go straight in as well, just like that. I'm gonna add in around about one and a half to two tablespoons worth of flour. Use the flour of your choice. We're just using this as a thickening agent. I probably wouldn't use a corn flour. A good splash of Worcestershire sauce. It's going to give it a nice beefy type flavor or real meaty type flavor. Mix all that through. Get that flour coating all those uh, little vegetables and bits of mince, just like I'm doing right there. I'm going to add in one 400 gram can of brown lentils that I've really well rinsed. They will be a bit salty and a bit yucky if you don't rinse the uh, brine off those. I'm going to add in one and a half to two cups worth of beef stock. That can go straight in and if you want you can use a reduced beef stock. It probably would be a little bit better and that way you can just put a little bit of salt in later on if it needs it. This didn't end up being too salty but just be mindful of that. A cup of frozen green peas. They can go straight in. They're not going to take very long to cook at all. Okay, so around about five minutes later, everything should be cooked and ready for our next step. We're going to take that off the heat and put that aside. It'll keep warm until we're uh, ready for our next little bit of. So what I have here is 500 grams of potato and 500 grams of parsnip. I've peeled those and cut them up to be about the same size. Put that into a pot of heavily salted water. We're going to bring that up to the boil and when they all go nice and tender, we're ready for our next step. We're gonna strain those and we're gonna get our vegetable masher and give them a nice big mash, just like we're doing right there. Get them all mashed up first of all, and then we can start really making up our uh, beautiful parsnip mash. A nice big knob of butter, that can go straight into our pot as well. Make sure we give that a nice big mash and stir through it like that. Very, very simple this one. A little bit of milk can go in. You can use some room temperature milk, that would be best, but, uh, we're going to be cooking this off again so we can actually use a bit of cold milk stir all of that through now get that beautiful mixture that we have with that lamb mince and the herbs and the vegetables that can go straight into a oven dish just like i'm doing right there so that goes straight in lay your beautiful parsnip mash over the top make sure it's nice and even if you possibly can and uh, now we're going to add some nice tasty cheese you could use whatever cheese you like the more vintage the cheese the better it will be a stronger flavor of course and we've got our oven sitting at 180 degrees celsius already we've put that uh, oven dish onto a tray so it's a little bit easier to pick up and off it goes into the oven around about 30 to 40 minutes and before you know it all of a sudden we've got this amazing lamb and herb pie with parsnip mash with that beautiful cheesy topping how good does that look love to see you try and make this one at home <clears throat> thank you so much for watching this video really do appreciate it if you like this video hit that like button it gives me confidence it should make you feel warm and fuzzy too 
share this video with all your friends on all platforms of social media we're trying to get the no kp's kingdom out there if you don't want to miss another one of my videos again you might as well hit that notifications bell and that will happen in the meantime i'm off to eat my lamb and herb pie with parsnip mash and i will catch you next time bye